Uh, Mr. Chairman, yes, there was there was also a motion to bring before the board um, to remove three young men from the barman list. Um, and that, that motion passed in the committee and I believe we should take that up tonight. Okay, I, I believe that there was, I was, I've been told that we don't have the authority to, to remove people from the department list. Ben, have you? Yeah, I, I looked into this issue and when someone is added to the department list, they come off only by virtue of passage of three years or uh, with a court order or by challenging the matter in an administrative grievance with the housing authority. We are the board. We have the ability to instruct staff to do things. We, the, the, law, uh, and the law entrusts the power of the authority to the board. I believe that this barman pol the, the policy was abused in its use and that staff and the police department was incorrect in making this decision. The lives of these three young men were put in jeopardy. This is the kind of thing that we need to make sure is not happening. Because I've watched the video. If some of you hadn't seen the video, I've got it. I can play it for you. It's it's disturbing. And I am going to work on my own because it appears that's what others are doing to make some updates to this policy, which I will bring back to the board for you all to vote on because that's what we do as a board. We set a policy. It was abused and we need to make that right. We do have the authority and to look at it and to make the necessary changes so that staff makes an opinion, as long as we hear it, that doesn't necessarily mean collectively, we agree with it. I, I'm, I'm a little concerned, I guess, that uh, people on that committee uh, were not notified that the board would not take up the motion that was passed out of this committee. I, I move that we accept the motion that passed from the uh, the committee uh, to remove those young gentlemen uh, off the uh, debar debarment list. Second. Is there any discussion? I'm not certain how we can do that if we don't have the legal authority to, to do that. Mr. Chairman, there's a board, I mean, there's a, there's a motion on the floor. This issue was given uh, due consideration in a, in a valid committee. It was voted upon to send to the board and I'm bringing that forward. The, the police put the, put the people on the list for some reason. And, and, you know, I, I need to find that out in my mind. We don't put the names on the list. The list people's names are on the list by the police department. You know, I'm not certain that I'm in a position as the commissioner of the housing authority to make a decision as to whether that person ought not to be on the list or whether he should be on the list. I don't think that the three men have been charged with anything and any charges that they had was not in the jurisdiction of the city of Richmond. And for the, the police to put them on the department policy from being able to deal with this family, I think if they have a problem and want to bring it forward with a case, then do so. I understand that this issue is still being investigated by the city police. That is incorrect. Those young men are not being investigated for anything. Mr. Chairman, I'd like to call a question. Mr. Chairman, may I speak? Yes, sir. So, uh, first of all, um, Mr. Ch Mr. Chairman, point of order, uh, Commissioner Gooden called the question and I don't think, I mean, we've been talking, but I don't believe it's a debatable motion. And I would call the question again uh, that we, we move this to a vote. Am I able to speak now? There is, of course, an I internal affairs investigation, but there are also other criminal investigations ongoing with some of these individuals. Brian, was the unit that was in question in this video searched for drugs? I the police. I I'm, I can't. I don't know the answer to that question. After the fact, was the was the unit searched? The the unit. Yes. You mean the the vehicle or the people? The the our unit, our housing unit. That's part of an ongoing investigation. One was charged uh, and arrested. 
warrants. He was arrested for a warrant of, for failure to appear in court for traffic infractions. They were placed on the barman list in error. And that's and why I made the motion. That's why I'm recommending that we instruct the, instruct the staff to bring them on. Because there was nothing going on that day that should have led to that interaction. We're being asked to second guess the police at this time placing these people on the list erroneously. And I just don't feel comfortable doing that. I'm not I'm not withdrawing my motion. We can vote on it. I'm happy to vote. And if I lose, I lose. And I mean we'll move forward from there. But I, I'm not changing the motion that I've made. I see the motion before the board. Commissioner Coleman? No. Um, was that uh, I, if it's, based, if it's me? Yes, I. Commissioner Hardiman? Aye. Commissioner Johnson? Aye. Commissioner Jones? No. Commissioner Kessler? No. Commissioner Pitchford? Abstain. And Commissioner Shelton? Aye. Okay, that is three, uh, four <laughs> eyes, excuse me, four eyes, three no's, and one abstention. So the motion is carried. Commissioner Blair? Commissioner Jones? Okay. Motion is carried. So we'll ask the staff to um, remove the names from the department list. 